Hello my dear students, welcome to our channel Rajesh Biology and I am Rajesh MS Zoology. Today our topic is uh, external features of the cockroach that is nothing but morphology. <music> Study of external features is called morphology. External features means what? Uh, the features, the characters, what we can observe by seeing that organism with our naked eyes. We can observe the size of the cockroach, shape of the cockroach, color of the cockroach and some external features of the cockroach, structures of the cockroach we can understand. So these are the things I am going to discuss in this class. So external features are morphology. So morphology means uh, I will try to draw the structure of the cockroach external features and I will like, explain along with that diagram. So cockroach has an elongated body cockroach has what an elongated body elongated body and elliptical elliptical means um, this is this is the elliptical structure so cockroach body is like this elliptical structure so elliptical and um, elongated and the body has three tegmata as we already discussed in the previous class the body has divided into three tegmata insect bodies or cockroach bodies divided into three tegmata in the three tegmata one is head another one is a thorax and another one is abdomen so if it is the thorax it is what abdomen like this of course the both days are not sufficient so i'll draw it like this the body is elongated narrow and elliptical in nature elliptical in structure and not only that it is a dorso ventrally flattened listen so it is the cockroach for example here is the head it is the cockroach body so if you observe the cockroach body is dorsally and ventrally ventrally and dorsally get flattened that's why it enter into the small crevices also very small crevices also it can enter because of the dorso ventral flattened body and of course it make its body more flat when there is a crevices are very small it can adjust the body to enter into that small crevices dorso ventrally flattened body and elliptical in, uh, structure elongated body and it is divided into three tegmata that is a head thorax and abdomen okay then what we can observe we just discussed about the structure and the shape of the cockroach now next color what is the color it has a dark reddish brown in color it is a dark reddish brown in color reddish brown in color and not only that in this the first segment it is called pronotum what it is called it is called pronotum this first thoracic segment pronotum have yellow color shade at the edges the edges have what which shade the yellow color shade we can observe in the pronotum okay this is the pronotum and pronotum edges has yellow color structure like this okay and the remaining entire body is a, a dark reddish brown in color it is about the color elliptical elongated narrow dorsal ventrally flattened is the structure and we already discussed the habitats and everything and come to the layers of this or uh, the skeletal system okay insects not only the cockroach all the insects and cockroach has an exoskeleton exoskeleton made by the chitin made by what chitin so the skeleton is called chitinous exoskeleton chitinous exoskeleton this chitinous exoskeleton is a uh, uh, present in the form of plates small plates are there of course the plates are made with the chitin and that forms the exoskeleton outer covering okay and that outer covering is in the form of small plates so 
so if you observe this diagram it is one plate plate number two plate number three four five six like that uh, the exoskeleton is divided into the plates okay and in that place actually these plates are called sclerites these plates are called what sclerites the plates are called what sclerites if these sclerites are present on dorsal side the sclerites of dorsal side is called tergum okay tergum please don't confuse tegmata means the segments tegmata means segments tergum means sclerite sclerite is a chitinous exoskeletal plate the plate is called sclerite if the sclerite is present on the dorsal side that is called der tergum that's why it is simply remember as dorsal tergum then you never forget then you never confuse dorsal tergum the sclerite is present on ventral side that is called sternum so dorsal tergum ventral sternum dorsal tergum ventral sternum these are the exoskeletal plates that is made by the chitin chitinous exoskeleton now remember the pronotum is the dorsal tergite pronotum is what dorsal tergite and the, the edges of the pronotum is yellow colored yellow color uh, edges are present on the pronotum this is about the chitinous exoskeleton when we remove that exoskeleton when we remove the exoskeleton beneath the exoskeleton there is a hypodermis there is a hypodermis beneath the exoskeleton so if it is the chitinous exoskeleton it is the cockroach body it is the cockroach body and it is the head for example of course this is the dorso ventrally flattened body like that okay if the white color structure out color outside white color structure outer white color structure is what chitinous exoskeleton for example okay beneath the chitinous exoskeleton there is a layer of hypodermis this is what hypodermis i think you may know epidermis i think you may know the epidermis you may hear epi means upon we have the epidermis because it is present upon the underlying tissues that's why it is called epidermis epithelium we already know about the epithelium epi means upon thelium means covering okay so epithelium means which is present upon the basement membrane epithelium epidermis which is present upon the different types of underlying tissues so epidermis you know then what is hypodermis here actually epidermis is also a sorry hypodermis is also nothing but epidermis if it is the epidermis why it is epidermis because it is present upon the internal all organs and be behind this also there is some tissues are there some types of uh, cells are also present enocytes are present so it is also epidermis but why we called this epidermis as hypodermis why we call the epidermis as hypodermis because because the epidermis is present epidermis is present behind beneath the exoskeleton it is present beneath the exoskeleton that's why in cockroach or in insects epidermis is called hypodermis so outer chitinous exoskeleton beneath the exoskeleton there is a hypodermis which is nothing but epidermis epidermal layer and this epidermis only secrete epidermis or hypodermis only secrete what outer exoskeleton so chitinous exoskeleton is prepared by the hypodermis hypodermis forms the chitinous exoskeleton okay and why the chitinous exoskeleton is very important to the cockroaches very important to the insects actually this exoskeleton have some main functions um, what are the main functions of the chitinous exoskeleton it has the main functions as it protects the body it protects the internal organ internal organs are protected by the chitinous exoskeleton and it prevents it prevents the loss of water 
it prevents the loss of water it protects the internal organs it prevents the loss of water the water is a never uh, escape from this chitinous exoskeleton it is very tightly packed the exoskeleton is tightly packed with a, a arthrodial membrane if it is the exoskeletal sclerite it is another sclerite between these two there is a membranous there is a membranous uh, fold membranous flexible there is a flexible membranous arthrodial is there flexible arthrodial membrane arthrodial membrane is there it never allow the leakages of water and it attaches one sclerite with the another sclerite one exoskeletal plate with the adjacent another uh, exoskeletal plate are connected with one another with the help of a flexible arthrodial membrane okay and not only that outer the exoskeleton there is a wax layer we will discuss about that wax layer also so all this tight packing prevent the loss of water and you know before the insects that means annelida before the annelida that means from the porifera porifera sponges next cilentrata tenophora up to the tenophora they are present in the marine water plate element is in fresh water marine water within the human body within the different animals body that is also present in the liquid medium plate element is ask element is that is also present in the cavities or in the plant tissues it issues fluid that is also in a liquid manner as as helminthes or nemat helminthes nematoda and uh, annelida annelidas also require water moisture skin for the respiration so up to annelida everything is completely related to the water water is very important to them come to the arthropoda arthropoda is the largest class sorry largest phylum in the kingdom animalia and the largest class is insecta and they are completely uh, adapted for the terrestrial mode of life okay of course not completely they also want uh, water for their reproductive purposes and everything uh, they are completely adapted for the terrestrial mode of life like insects cockroaches and everything okay they they can live on the earth so they have to protect the water inside the body they don't have the body uh, they don't have the water medium that's why they have to protect the body protect the water inside so to prevent the water is uh, water loss is very important protects production prevents the water loss and um, it provide the space it provide space for muscles it provide the space for muscles like tribular it is triple p protection prevention provide it provides the space for muscles and last but not least it give the shape rigidity it gives the rigidity to the body that means rigidity means it becomes strong you know rigid character means the chalk piece so if it is this is the chalk piece it is rigid that's why it can break it is rigid that's why it has a shape but uh, if you see the water or any slime slime is not rigid it don't have any sufficient uh, shape so rigid means a particular shape roughness strong character that is rigidity is provided by the chitinous exoskeleton these are the things uh, which are um, functions of the chitinous exoskeleton and this white color chitinous exoskeleton has this chitinous exoskeleton has what an outer wax covering it has a outer wax covering wax covering is also prevent the water loss wax never allow the water to leak from the body it never allow the inside water to send out okay so it is also prevent the water leakage that wax layer very important to that uh, uh insects wax layer how the wax layer is formed wax layer is formed by the eunocytes eunocytes are present inside the body like that this eunocytes are believed to secrete 
a wax layer outside the body which prevents the water loss enocytes are present inside the body so hypodermis is there hypodermis produces the outer exoskeleton made by the chitin and the chitinous exoskeleton covered by the wax layer which is produced by the enocytes which are present in that this wax layer chitinous exoskeleton helps in protection of the internal organs and they prevent the water loss and they provide the space for the muscles and they give the rigidity and the shape to the body shape to the body okay and the cockroach body is elongated elliptical and narrow ventro dorso ventrally get flattened and the pronotum actually the color is reddish brown in color but the pronotum edges are yellow colored okay and what are the other characters so we can observe from this uh, cockroach yes cockroach we can simply identify whether the cockroach is male cockroach or female cockroach depending upon the wing size so i'll try to draw the same diagram for another one time so for example this is the elliptical in shape narrow elliptical elliptical okay so this is what head this is head and it is pronotum next segment and later the body segments are like this okay so if it is the cockroach just imagine as it is the cockroach and these two are the eyes we will discuss about the head in the next class okay so here if you observe how can we differentiate a male cockroach from the female by observing with our naked eyes without uh, uh, dissecting or without identifying the different characters of the reproductive system how can we distinguish a male cockroach from the female in male cockroach the wings in male cockroach the wings are extended the wings are extended beyond the abdomen the wings are extended what beyond the abdomen the wings are extended like this the wings are extended beyond the abdomen if it is the female the wings are not extended beyond the abdomen they are just before the abdomen only they will end okay and we will discuss about the different types of wings also there is uh, two different types of wings are present in um, in cockroach two different types of wings are pro present we will discuss about the wings also but a simple difference between the male cockroach and female cockroach is in male cockroach the wings are extended beyond the abdomen so this is uh, uh, some characters of the morphology of the cockroach in next class we will discuss about the head and later we will discuss about the mouth parts which is very important and like that we will continue the entire chapter of cockroach step by step thank you